Howdy. Good or ill? What's up, everybody? This is Hayden from Real Men Fish coming to you live. It is. Whew, it's a nice day out today. Usually, when I go fishing, I am not graced with such nice days, but we got the avalanche, we got the sled, and we got the trusty clam chair. We go to fish in the day. Oh, there we go. Go to fish in the day on one of my favorite lakes. Uh, it's one of those lakes where if you have a little kid and you just wanted them to catch a bunch of fish, this is the place to be. So let's go. You know, I think the worst problem is doing a video by yourself. I don't know what I look like. I don't know how I sound like. Can you hear me? I don't even know. I don't really know. But we're gonna do the best we can. Give you some grace. Let's go. You know, there is a cost to going ice fishing that I feel like some of the wives out there don't give enough credit to. And that's trudging through snow, carrying stuff, trying to just get to the spot. Anyway, so the good news is it's only about like three inches of snow. I just talked to a couple guys behind us. They've been fishing for about a half an hour. Got three flags, not a lot else. I'm very happy to hear that there is whew, three feet of ice out here, about. And I am not hand cranking today. I got a new toy for Christmas. Drill slash drill attachment setup. I'll give you guys a little close up on that here in a bit. We're getting close to our spot. Got some fish on the screen. I know you can't see this Vexlar very good, but very finicky fish. We're finally set up fully. Uh, I'm marking fish, but they're really finicky today. They're they're coming up really slowly. Sorry, folks. We got a fish. There's a flag over there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna get the chest back on. It's been on there for a second, but. The camera battery died and I don't understand why. Maybe it's just too cold and it's just gotta take turns warm it up. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. That was just a mess. This is what happens when you send the camera guy with no camera guy. Not a camera guy, but anywho, just want to get this case closed up so the battery can warm back up. I had a tip up go off, and of course it was in the middle of filming. And the thing dies on me because I think it's too cold but I saw this flag moving just a second ago hopefully the fish is still there look at that okay. oh yeah line sideways Might have dropped it. It got caught off in the weeds. This is a struggle of making a channel. Like, I saw that flag moving like two minutes ago and I saw it spinning. And if my camera would have been rolling, it would have got over here and been able to set the hook on it, but it got tangled up in the weeds. Ah. All right. Well, we're gonna reset that bait and see if we can't get it to go off with the camera still working. I'm gonna put the camera back in the case so it can stay warm. And we'll see if we can't get that to work better. So last time I had a battery die. Camera malfunctioned. Flag went off, I waited too long, I didn't catch fish. Now, round number two, baby. Finally get to display my skill. Oh, it's so pretty when the flag's up. See if I can get the dial. Oh, 
Yeah. It's a good fish too. Yeah. Felt it as soon. Ooh. Woo. Yes. Oh. This is a good fish. I don't think it's a monstrous fish. I think it's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, hoo, 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 hoo. wow, that was very dramatic, whoo, sweet, ah, oh. yeah, look at that, right down the gullet, good hook set, Let's see if we can clear them off for a second, did that guy, but, got a nice pike, Probably like 20, 20, 21 inches. Uh, we're on a lake today that the DNR made a rule that some of these lakes that have stunted pike growth in them, uh, you can keep up to five pike and four can be any size. And one is, to, if you're keeping five, one is to be over 24 inches. So basically every year that we take these fish out, these smaller ones, and they give, take out a bunch of small ones and they give those bigger ones a chance to grow. And I'm going to take this home and, I like to pickle pike. I also got, I know how the fillet of boneless, so they're a good snack, and winter pike are probably some of the best eating fish that there are. So, woo! Woo! <laughs> Didn't get away this time. No camera malfunctions there. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm gonna get this guy set back up and put this guy in the snow. Yeah. So he just stays nice and cold. Kinda wanted to show you what I got going with my tip ups today. Uh, I got a suffix 832 80 pound braid. Uh, I don't always use braid. I typically use coated tip up line made by suffix, but this was on super sale when our gander went out of, went out of business. So I just threw it on there because that's what I had. Um, I like to run 20 pound fluorocarbon and I run about, I don't know, a six foot liter tied to a swivel. But I usually do two techniques if I'm gonna be ice fishing for pike and I'm gonna be doing flag. So if I'm gonna be going for really, really, really big fish, I tie my uh, homemade quick strike rigs out of 50 pound coated wire. Um, but on days where I wanna be stealthy, I think the bite is gonna be a little bit slow or there's a chance that there's gonna be walleyes, I like running 20 pound fluorocarbon. And what I've noticed with 20 pound fluorocarbon is after you set the hook, if that fish wants to run and you let it run, uh, I have not had any bite offs using this in the last two years. I know that pike are very toothy. I know that people like to run steel leaders, but uh, I've been fishing this for the last two years and I haven't had a single bite off yet. Uh, and I've probably iced about 20 pike using this technique. So I'm also running just a single number six uh, 4X sharp point hook by VMC. Um, I love the VMC 4X hooks. These things are sticky sharp and very strong. So if this thing swallows it, if a fish puts this in his mouth and I get to stick the hook out of, I'm not going to be losing any fish due to the dull hooks. And I think I've been using this hook for the last two years and it still feels like I took it right out of the package. So I like the VMC 4X hooks. And this is for some of you. A lot of us are weekend guys. I usually only get the fish on the weekends. Today's a special occasion because I had the day off. Uh, but I didn't have time to go to the bait store. Well, actually that's a fib because I did go to the bait store. But I didn't want to bring my bait bucket or have to worry about live bait because I don't know what I'm going to be going fishing next. But I've been saving my minnows, my shiners and my pike sucker minnows and ones that I know that I'm not going to use or are pretty close to die and I take out and I put them in the freezer. Um, and I actually just run a piece of dead bait, like just a foot off the bottom. And I know that a lot of guys like to use lively bait, but I've noticed that in the winter time, especially in February when the fishing's kind of slow and those fish are kind of lethargic and they're not super moving and active and feeding yet. Sometimes I've noticed that if you just dead stick a bait, it works just as good as like a fluttery little middle that sometimes they don't want to chase. And this is my second flag that I've had today on just a piece of dead bait. and. These things are expensive. The shiners aren't too bad. I think the shiners up here are, I don't know, maybe $4 for a dozen, but those pike suckers are almost a buck a piece. So instead of throwing them on the ice like I used to, I started to freeze them and use them as dead bait when I didn't have time to go to the bait shop and they've been working really well for me. So I'm gonna reset this flag and hopefully we can get some more action for you. Another flag. I don't usually run the flags, but my buddy told me he wanted to get me a video. 
start running. Like my form. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, it's spinning. Look. Look. Oh, yeah, baby. Game time. Oh, they like to swim left. They like to swim left today. Got him. Ooh. I think this is a better one. Or he's wrapped up. This is a good fish. Oh, ooh. Ooh. There she goes. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is like five minutes later. I was just telling my buddy every time I sit down in my chair. Oh, dude, this is a nice fish. Can't see it yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a nice fish. It's better than the other one. Uh, he's gonna have to come home too. I hooked him kind of deep. Oh, yeah. Freak yeah, buddy. Let's see if I could kick the hook out. <sighs> cool note about these pliers is I was walking through the parking lot at one of my favorite rivers to fish and I looked down on the ground and somebody dropped a nice pair of Remington pliers. So if you're missing your Remington pliers and you're fishing out of the chocolate last year, I got him. It's a nice other fish, dude. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Another one. Do, do, do. Another flag bites the dust. Woo! Seriously. This is awesome. That guy's about 22 inches. I got the tape on him earlier. This one is the same. They look like they're friends. Cool. Big day this morning. I think I had a battery die. I'm not sure if I had a battery die. I filmed and fished today for the first time. We're talking big feet here, but bite's gone pretty dead. I thought for sure that I was just gonna rake a bunch of bluegills and I marked a bunch of bluegills, but they were, if you ever had a fish do that, a ton of fish do that, you got a screen and you can just see that they're all coming up and they're like, hmm, something fishy right here. Yeah, that's what the bluegills did to me today, so. Bluegills outsmarted me. One little nibble. Uh, I went two for three on flags. I would have been three for three on flags. I've been betting 100% on flags this year, but between dealing with the dead camera battery, I just left that fish sit for too long and it got away. So I'm going to pack up. Got a big mess right there of stuff to clean up. And I'm going to get myself back to the truck and go from there. So I'm on my way back to the boat launch. And remember, I talked earlier about saving bait. Look at these guys. All their waxies, big minnows. Oh, I got some nice sized minnows in here. So yeah, I got... It's funny because about all the bait that I used today just got restocked by those guys. And it's nice because you don't know how many people throw away their bait, but they, I mean, they toss their wigglers out. Black swerves. And now because of it, I can save about $5 in bait. Be ready to go for next time. Thanks, guys. Sorry about the sweat. Just, oh, this is a good look for me. Um, that was overall an okay day of fishing for mid-February. I hadn't been out in several weeks, so the fact that I was even able to catch something on camera was pretty jacked about. Uh, gonna get the truck fired up here thanks for joining us for an episode of real men fish and we'll talk to you soon